Okay, so today I'm just going to do a really quick review of two um, Swiss Army knives. This will be quick because I'm not going to open all the blades, mainly because my fingers are a bit dodgy and you really don't need to sit here for 15 minutes watching me open and shut blades. I just want to give a quick chat about what they are and what they do. Um, I normally carry one of these in my briefcase and one in my little everyday carry bag um, along with a knife. So I might carry, for example, uh, an Enzo PK70, which is a much better blade, it's better blade steel, it's a better, better knife to use all round. But um, these are useful because they are my multi-tool. They do have a blade, so if you only had to carry one thing, this would be the one that I would carry, and the Enzo would be left at home, normally. So, there are, but there are basically the two types. Um, this, I would think of the uh, plastic scaled versions, the Celador scaled versions, as the uh, jeans and trainers version, and the ALOX or um, anodized aluminium, anodized um, aluminium scaled versions, as as those with a, as though you're wearing a posh frock. So they both have a blade. They both have a similar tool set. But um, this is the Pioneer X, which is part of the Pioneer range, which was the original Swiss Army soldier knife, which they carried for a long, long, which they issued for a long, long time. Um, it's slightly different. It has the X, which gives an extra layer, which is a pair of scissors, which is my most used tool by a mile. Um, but these knives have, this knife, well, if we start with this one, then I'll tell you what this has got. This has got the same plus. So, this one has um, a large blade, an awl, a bottle opener and a can opener. And on the bottle opener there's a large flat headed screwdriver and a wire stripper that I've never used as a wire stripper, ever. And I've had Swiss Army knives for 40 years plus, but anyway. Um, the It also has on the can opener, it's quite a good can opener actually if you need one. Um, it, it has a small screwdriver on the end. That's the tool, the complete tool set for the ALOX one. So it looks smart, but it's slightly less useful. The Celador version, this is actually the, called the Climber. And in many ways, I see these two as equivalents of the other. Now, the first difference between the two of them is the ALOX Pioneer is 93 millimeters long, the scale, the handle. The Celador ones are 91 millimeters long. They do do 8 millimeter, 84 millimeter, and 58 millimeter versions. But the standard Swiss Army knife is a 91 millimeter Celador scale. They are traditionally red, but you can get them. Um, the sort of standard colors are red and black, silver, or clear. Really, it looks silver because it's silver underneath, and uh, blue. So I got this one in blue just to be different and I thought it sort of contrasted quite nicely with the orange tag. Now, as I say, this also has a large blade, also has an awl, it also has the bottle and can openers and um, the screwdrivers. But in addition to that, and the scissors of course, in addition to that it has a small blade and on these uh, knives you have the plastic ones you have the tools on the back as well so that gives you an additionally a corkscrew which once upon a time i was i would have thought of as an absolute essential but nowadays wine bottles come with screw tops so it's not so much of an issue it, within the uh, corkscrew there's a tiny screwdriver for doing up glasses in the middle is a thing called a multi-purpose hook which is a pretty pointless thing as far as i'm concerned i can they're very if you, one way it is useful, the one thing I find it useful for is if I'm opening a can with a ring pull on the top, um, my fingers don't work very well as I'm constantly telling everybody, the multi-purpose hook can be used to pull the ring, um, get a bit more leverage on it, but that's specialist to me and I don't think many people would really care. The other thing on the back there is the awl, so on the... Alox one, the awl sits where the small blade would be on here because of the small blade on the front, the awl moves to the back. Additionally, on the plastic ones, you also have 
uh, what are called scale tools. So in here you have a pair of tweezers. You can actually see them going down inside the knife handle and on this side you have a toothpick. There is a, a plus scale which also has a small um, uh, ballpoint pen in the scale but this, this particular one doesn't. So these are my everyday carry ones. I carry this uh, literally, this one lives in my briefcase, this one lives in my everyday carry bag. This is kind of the posh one, this is the worker. But they both do pretty much the same jobs because the main thing I use them for is the scissors and the bottle opener. So. There we are, Swiss Army Knife Reviews without taking out any of the blades. There's plenty out there to tell. I actually like these knives. The the blades will, you can, with just a strop, you can make them razor sharp. Really, really sharp. Um, almost scary sharp, actually. Um, but they don't hold an edge. So if you use them three or four times, you're, you're back, to, um, back to square one. But they are good knives. They're useful to carry every day. And um, I certainly uh, wholeheartedly recommend them. Thank you.